What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Fallout 3! Episode number 3. Episode! Episode number 3. I feel like I'd squeaked again on me. Holy cannoli. Hang on, hold on. Was it I think I goofed up? Hold on. Stop making noise myself, please. Hello? Uh, I definitely need to put this camera back. Oop, nope, that's the wrong thing. Hold on, hold on. Going up this way. Hello everyone! Welcome back! This is uh, Fallout 3, Part 3, part of Fallout Fridays. Uh, my name is Sean. You can catch this on uh, most Fridays. I don't know about next week. Um, next week the plan is to be playing Forza Horizon 5, but it also might not work out. We'll see. See kind of what happens. Uh, but uh, that's the goal. But right now, we're not going to worry about that. We're going to worry. No, we're going to focus on Fallout Three. If you like Fallout Three and you want to watch a fresh playthrough of it, this is a good place to check out, hang out. YouTube.com/slash Dinosaurus Rex. Uh, every Friday, 6 a.m. Pacific time is when it posts. Obviously available all day, um, so you don't have to be here just at 6 a.m. I don't know why I keep making that reference, but uh, I do. Um, yeah, today. Uh, so scroll down, subscribe, ring that bell, do all that good stuff. Uh, today, we are continuing our questing here. Uh, I think today we're going to be doing a little bit more of the side stuff. Now, we have the first chapter of the Wasteland Survival Guide to finish. Pardon me. And we also have this little side quest up in uh, Afreyu. Arfu? Arfu. Uh, that we need to take care of. But both of these take place really far north and we're way out of the way. Um, even the next, uh, area of the main quest is way out here, so, uh, I figured I would just call it where I called it last time, and then we'll just kind of work our way up that way in, uh, in part number three. Uh, hopefully the audio is okay. I'm, I'm bumped it a little bit, but I don't know if it needs to be bumped that much. I've been really bad about taking notes about where the audio needs to be. So. Alright, we're gonna just kind of... Oh, we'll talk to these. We'll talk to Crow real quick. Here to acquire a new mantle of I definitely didn't need to bump mesh. the audio. If you have the caps, I have the merchandise. Tell me, if, uh, let's trade. My caravan sells clothes. Oh, I didn't actually want that, sorry. Oh, I got a map marker for some reason. Whoops. My caravan sells clothing and armor to decorate and protect the body while it endures the ravages of the physical world. My travels take me from Canterbury Commons to where there is true need of this protection. After all, this is what they'll pay the most for. Have a look. See if anything calls out to you. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest, not really. How's my? How are my stem packs looking? Maybe I'll just grab something while I'm here. Six. Eh, I'll go. I'll go ahead and. That's fine. A pleasure doing business with you. That's fine. All right. Got a few more stem packs. I believe that's hot keyed to my up on the D pad. Uh, but we'll just kind of work our way north. It. I thought I had already looked at that, and I don't know why it. It added a map marker for me. Canterbury Commons? Ah. Comms? No, Commons. Okay. There you go. So I did end up buying the DLC. It was on sale. Um, I bought uh, the two missing DLCs that I guess I didn't have. And I think it's because you could buy them on disc a way long time ago. Uh, when the game first came out. And so I think I just I just played those on disc and like didn't ever buy them digitally. But I thought it came with the the um, Fallout 4, but I guess I I don't know. I, I don't I was very surprised that I I had never owned those digitally, but now I do. Could never get that disc to work. Um, I don't know if I explained that very well, but uh, basically what happened was I bought the game on these discs. I'll, I'll explain it real quickly just in case I did actually get my point across last time. Bought these for like 10 bucks each. They're the game of the year edition, complete edition, whatever you want to call it. 
Um, I thought there were going to be digital codes inside for downloads of the DLC. Nope, just uh, it's not that. It's two discs. The game is on two discs. Disc one is the actual game. Disc two is the DLC. But for the uh, but the way that the Xbox One reads the discs, it does not read the second disc as a DLC installation disc. It just reads it as a copy of Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas. So I never had any luck getting them to install. Uh, so I just ended up buying them. And why? what makes it kind of interesting is that Fallout New Vegas has uh, content that's just not downloadable anymore. Like, it just doesn't exist. So um, you need to buy the physical edition if you're looking for it. I believe it's Old World Blues is the one. So let's see. What do I have items-wise? I have Assault Rifle. I don't have the greatest... I don't have the most ammo here. Let's hotkey that. And hotkey that. And then if we get into a pinch, we'll do that. Anyway. Uh, I just ended up buying the, the DLC. It's like a raider's camp above me. I'm just going to keep going north here. Some, some stuff up there. Little red dots on the... Oh, I'm already at full health. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. God. Oh. Okay, there's one more. There it is. That dog uh, ran into a mine. Rads. Gives you a little HP, but that's no big deal. It's just nothing here. Okay. There was a there was a landmine just over here. That was what caught my attention. What is this? It's just part of the road. Okay, never mind. Alright. How are we doing map wise? Oh, we're maybe halfway there. What's interesting is I have not seen any boat flies yet. And those I remember running into particularly frequently. Jesus. Do they really need the, like, whines and grunts in there? Oh, God. All right, we're down to seven bullets. If I could maybe just find a location that I could fast travel to, that might actually be helpful at this point. I can go over here. I think I might need to end up here anyway. You do move faster without your weapon out, so. I'd like to just discover this area for fast travel purposes. Hey. Hello? How the hell do I, like, discover this? What the hell? There's, like, there's people in here. Ah, right, here we go. Hello. Hey, who are you? I mean no harm, I'm a simple traveler. Right. What do you want? Just want to look around. Starting a few fires and kill some people, all right. Just want to look around a little. Well, you can never be too careful. 
Be warned, it's not safe here. Super mutants have attacked recently and carried off some of our friends. Come in, just don't cause any trouble, okay? Okay. If you have a merchant, I would love to... Discovered Big Town. Alright, so anybody trades anything? A visitor? Who'd want to visit this hellhole? Big Town about their captured pillages, friends. Aren't you? aren't you? Not that it matters. Jesus. We're all super mutant snacks anyway. Uh... Do you have any traders in towns? Any doctors? We got two things to do in this town. Suck and die. No one ever makes it in this place. You won't find any stores to loot here. Uh... What do you know about these super mutants? The only thing you need to know is that we're all doomed. Sooner or later, they'll get every last one of us. What are you supposed to be anyway? Some kind of hero here to rescue our friends from the muties? Bah! You're just here to cause trouble. Do you know where these super mutants are located? They took them north to that old police station in Germantown. No use in going up there, though. They've already been eaten, or worse, by now. Why? You thinking about performing a miracle and rescuing their sorry butts? Um, I'll rescue your friends just to see the smile on your face when they return. <laughs> Think you're all that, huh? Well, it's your own funeral. I certainly won't be attending. Okay. Rescue big town captives from the super mutants. That sounds like I need uh, more things to do. Uh, We're all gonna die. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Positivity. Hey, don't get any bright ideas about trying anything. We may not look it, but every one of us is a trained killer. All right. Oh, who am I kidding? Look, we're in trouble here. If you want to help, great. If not, just please don't kill anyone while you're here. <laughs> just please don't. Well, we've got super mutants out that way and slavers up that way. Take your pick. They both come in here, drag off as many as they can carry, and shoot whoever puts up a fight. The best we can ever hope for is that they get here at the same time and fight over who gets to kill us. Why don't you leave? And where are we going to go? Megaton won't have us, Lamplight won't take us back, and Rivet City is too far. Besides, the bunch of us can't even hold this town. Can you imagine us schlepping across the wasteland? Who lives here? There aren't many of us left. There's me and Pappy. Red runs the clinic, but she's been taken by the mutant. Kimba does what she can. And there's Bittercup. She's just about as useless as a human being can be. Time Bomb was hurt in the last raid, so he's out. That's about it. The mutants and slavers have taken everyone else. Just us and a couple of guns are all that's left. So you're pretty much a free-for-all here? Where do you keep your good stuff? Yeah, yeah. You're a scary wastelander. Look. You'll either kill us or you won't. Most of us have already accepted death, so you won't get much of a reaction with your threats. At least we won't be slaves if you shoot us all. Not bad, kid. Not bad, kid. I'll let you live for now. Aren't you swell? Did you need something else or can I go back to my patrol? Um... Keep an eye out for muties. Welcome to Big Town. Hi, Kimba. Not that there's much of a town left. Those super mutants keep kidnapping people. No. Red used to run a medical clinic, but super mutants captured her in the last attack. Shit. Why do super mutants keep attacking your town? Whenever those things come, they grab a few people instead of killing them. No one knows what happens after that. No one wants to know. There's, there's always so much blood after they come, and then someone has to move the bodies. Where'd you come from anyway? Oh, Little Lamplight is where most of us came from. Red and Pappy and Flash and Bittercup. We used to play together when we were kids. Then we got old and we had to leave. Those were the rules. So we packed up and headed here, like we were supposed to. No one told us it would be like this. 
We never have fun anymore. And most of us, most of us are dead. Oh, there's somewhere to the northeast, in a police station or something. Thanks for rescuing our friends. I'm so tired of being frightened all the time. Okay, so I think I've kind of just talked to everybody here. I didn't realize that this was going to kick off like a whole mission situation. I oh, can't sleep. Get up, I want to talk to you. Oh, hi there. I'm Bittercup. Nice to meet you. Finally, someone who doesn't judge me. You know, the people here are just so quick to assume that they know everything about you. I mean, like, just because I'm different doesn't mean that I'm some sort of freak, you know? It's like, hello, this world sucks. No one gets <laughs> that. They're all like, blah, 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 blah. What's wrong with that girl? Seems like a strange thing to worry about right now. No one understands me either. God, it's so nice to have someone who understands. I mean, sure, when I left Little Lamplight, I was happy to be out of there. I was dating Pappy then, you know. I got here and he was like, Big Town will be safe. But it wasn't. This place is always under attack. But I don't date liars. So I dumped his ass and got with Flash. But that didn't last very long. Me and Time Bomb were a thing for a while, too. I have something to say to you, Bittercup? Oh, yeah? What is it? Um, not that I care what you think. Um. If you don't mind me saying you look different from everyone else. Really? I mean, <clears throat> good. No one wants to look like the boring slobs in this town anyway. Besides... If we're all going to die here, I at least want my corpse to look better than these inane wastelanders. You need to set yourself apart from the mold, then people will respect you. You're not, um, seeing anyone right now, are you? Why, well, no, I'm not in any sort of relationship, are you? Oh, um, well, I need to get going. But come back and visit me sometime, okay? Wait, what? Why can't I sleep in the bed? Damn it. Damn it. Almost got a girlfriend. Open door to big town town hall. There's just nothing like... Okay. That's fine. There's seven bullets for this pistol. all boarded up okay well at least we can uh we can use that to fast travel if we get into a bit of a pinch that was kind of just the goal there i didn't huh i thought it would be something important but i, I didn't realize it kicked off a whole quest line there who's oh god yeah we're gonna go ahead and just keep going over this way Now, is this the town the area that's on the on the bridge? Damn it. 
Oh oh. Oh oh. Yep. Leveled up. Okay. Do I just go for it and... S That's fine. What I wanted to do... Uh... Da -da -da. Five to small gun and repair skill. Oops. Okay, so now I'm in a bit of trouble. I don't have a ton of... I don't have, like, any ammo. I do remember one of these settlements, one of these areas, is actually up on a bridge. I think it's this one, but I don't... I don't know 100%. Fast travel, you've discovered several locations. You can fast travel. Okay. I already knew that. The flash. What? Baseball is forever. God. No oh, shit. That that felt especially brutal and I apologize. I just don't have I don't have like any ammo. Now this, this is what I thought I would see more of. There we go. Boat fly. Definitely accidentally put the wrong thing down. That's okay. Making our, making our progress though. Oh, shit. Whew. Ah, welcome, weary traveler. You look like a traveler in need of relaxation and the finest of chemical assistance. Well, wander no All more, right. my good friend, for I am Doc Hall, my good man. procurer of the finest of medical goods and chemical assistance. Now, how may I help you? I provide food, drinks, and discreet chemicals to discerning customers around the wasteland. I help ease the suffering of my fellow man for a prize. I don't have a home office exactly, but I organize much of my trade with Ernest Rowe in Canterbury Commons. Here to buy. Let's see what the good doctor has in his magic bag, shall we? Oh my god. You have a Nuka Cola grenade schematic? I don't have... You don't have, like, anything that I need. Oops. Items, weapons... Uh, I just don't, I don't have any fucking... I have four bullets. Another satisfied customer. Cheers, pal. Watch yourself out there. Damn it. Okay. Now we're at least on this freeway area, and we actually got a really good uh, fast travel point back there at the baseball field, so that's good news. Jesus f 
fucking Christ. Hang on, you're not one of them. I nearly blasted you in two. She's Get over here before Oh my god. You. Who? Now what the hell are you doing all the way out here? Well, I have this letter for the West family. That's great, but I got bigger problems than being the town post office right now. The shit's about to hit the fan in this cesspool, and I don't think I can stop them. What kind of trouble? Well, at first they do their typical gang bullshit. You know, break stuff and make lots of noise. But they always kept their distance. But this last time, they went too far. They killed all of our Brahmin. I mean, that's our life blood out here, you know. See, we can pass this. Ah, look, you can call me crazy if you want, but there is something odd about those creeps. I mean, they got the guns and they got the muscle. Why don't they just bust down our doors and take us out already? We're really in a bad way and could use some help. What do you need? I don't want to take my eyes off the ramp here. There's no telling when the family will return. Can you do me a favor and check on the other people's houses here? You know, make sure they're doing okay? Speak with Davis West, Karen Shenzi, and Ken Ewers. I have a message for the West family from their daughter. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it to the West yourself. Just watch yourself. I've got an itchy trigger finger. Yeah, I'm aware. That fucking... That scared the shit out of me. So where are these... That scared me too! Oh my gosh, I'm all jumpy now. The bodies of the Wests have bite marks on the neck area that go to the bone. There's nothing else on the corpse to indicate what happened. At least I can sleep. What time is it? In game. 7.50. Okay. Now the problem is, is that I need a key for one of them. Evan King's house. Knock on the door. Hello? Is this the mailman? Oh, I do hope my fall catalog has arrived. Huh? What are you talking about? Evan King sent me. Oh, Evan. He's such a gentleman. Please, do come inside. Let me unlock the door for you. What the hell are you doing in here? Get the fuck out. All right. Your wife let me in? Something about a catalog? Oh, for the love of... Look, she's dumber than a bag of hammers, okay? If you want to talk to anyone, you need to talk to me. So what the fuck do you want? Uh, did you know the Wests are dead? Son of a bitch. I knew the family were going to cross the line. It was only a matter of time. Maybe it's time I cut my losses and ran. But it just isn't fair. I made my home here. Why should I have to leave? Evan King told me to check on you. Carl Evan King. We're great. Just peachy. I love sitting in my house with my thumb up my ass. Tell Mr. King that sitting here all day isn't going to make us any safer. We need to take action. So what's your take on Evan King? Well, he's town mayor or sheriff or whatever he calls himself. He calls all the shots. When he says to get the heck indoors and stay put, we do that. Can you tell me more about what's been going on around here? Everyone is keeping themselves safe from the family. If I was you, I'd do the same. You want to know more? 
talk to Evan King. What do you think about the family? They're low-life scum who decided to use Arafu as their own personal amusement park. Oh, they're a fun bunch. I'd take a shot at them if I could, but judging from what they did to the Brahmin, I wouldn't live long to tell about it. Good. Now get out. Yeah. Good to see you. You must be exhausted from all that walking in this horrible heat. Oh, and hungry too. Sit, please. Braley Ewers is the name. Hey. Don't mind my husband, Kenneth. He woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. And every morning since we've been married. He's a piece of shit. Did you know the Wests are dead? Dead tired, I bet, from the square dance in the barn last night. What a time we had. <laughs> oh, all right. Everything okay? Oh, he's such a dear. I must remember to make more of those preserves he loves so much. Oh my, I don't know. Mrs. West is probably whipping up a batch of her famous cookies. And all the kids are playing in the yards. It's so nice outside. The grass looks lovely this time of year. Uh... Okay. Oh, certainly. Close the front gate when you leave. And mind my begonia garden. I just planted them. What the f fuck are you talking about? Jesus. Just remember that... Someone might... Okay. <laughs> I just remembered somebody might need to... Good to see you. Get a hold of me. <laughs> so I should probably be paying attention. Alright. Can, can I sleep in your bed? Fuck. I can go sleep at the dead family's home. Knock on the door. Yes. Who is it? Evan King sent me. Oh, he did? Well, it's about damn time he did something. Come on in. I'll unlock the door. We're actually making progress in a quest here. It's nice to see a friendly new face around here. I can't it's see been a yours. Long time. The name's Karen Shenzi. Did you know the Wests are dead? What? Oh my god! King has to do something about this now. Tell him to get off his ass and hunt those bastards down. Everything okay? Scared out of my mind. I'm glad he's checking on us, but until someone nips the problem in the bud, we may as well stay inside forever. We're scared shitless. Evan King's got everyone so worked up about the family, no one wants to set foot outside. That asshole runs the show. But does he really do anything about our problem? No. He's a spineless wimp. His best solution to the family is to stay inside our homes and hide. What does that tell them? It tells them that we can be pushed around whenever they want. I'm sick of it. And I'm sick of King. All they do is terrorize us. They taunt us to open our doors, throw bottles at our houses, and scream at us. If I knew King had my back, I'd step outside and show them just how I feel about their visits. Especially after this last attack. Oh. Sure. Go. Just like everyone else. Well, I don't have anything else to talk to you about, and I've completed my quest. What's in your fridge? Alright. I like that it says that I'm hidden. I'm just standing right behind her. I've got your gun. That's just a, just a shopping cart. Nothing to be afraid of. What did they tell you? Everyone okay? Did you know the Wests are dead? The family must have gotten to them in the last attack. Sons of bitches. Damn it. If only His mouth just did not men, move. We could stand up to them. I'm sick of them terrorizing this town. Wait a minute. When you searched the West's place, did you find their son Ian's body?
This has to be the work of the family. I've caught that weirdo leader of theirs talking to Ian down by the river. Look, I know I've asked a lot of you already, but you have to find that kid. He deserves better than all this. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can figure out the... Okay. The West had bite marks on their necks. Mean anything to you? Bite marks on their necks? That's the strangest thing I've ever heard. The family must have attack dogs with them or something. Oh, this is all I needed right now. What am I going to do? They'll keep coming back until all of us are dead. Where do you think I could find the family? I think they live somewhere east or northeast of here. Problem is, they always travel in the dark, so I can't see exactly where they go. There's all kinds of places they could be hiding, like Hamilton's Hideaway, the old Moonbeam Cinema, or Northwest Seneca Metro Station. Okay. There used to be more families living here. Most of them have dismantled their shacks and moved on to greener pastures. Those that are still living here are keeping themselves indoors, thanks to the family. Thanks, kid. You're all right. Next time I see the family, there's going to be hell to pay. Okay, so I don't think I can really do a whole lot. These areas are actually pretty... Oh, the Moonbeam is an outdoor cinema. It's kind of just out that one. It would be maybe that over there. I only have four, four ammo though. So that puts me in kind of a bind. Oh, it's average. They don't have anything that's helpful. Well, might as well uh, catch some shut eye. <laughs> Just sleeping with some dead bodies. No big deal. Don't you worry. Ah, well rested after a good night's sleep with those dead people. So the cinema, interesting. All right, so let's do this. Let's, he's just been standing there all night. Let's head back, let's fast travel to Megaton. Let's see if we can get some more ammo. I think that's, the key. Actually, we can look at this. We should be able to look at this bomb now. I put all of it into explosives. Hopefully that wasn't dumb. Attempt to disarm the bomb. The right gear would be trivial to rig it to explode. To disarm the bomb, however, would take a highly skilled explosives uh, expert. Uh, inert, but further examination reveals that it is still operational and quite dangerous. Let's attempt to disarm. You have successfully disarmed the bomb. Oh. Report to Lucas Sims. This gentleman over here. I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. Here's your reward. Hell, why don't you move in? Could use someone like you. Got an empty place here you can use. Here's the key indeed. It ain't much to look at, but talk with Moira. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. Hell yeah. Oh, ooh, almost. Completed a, completed a quest. Later. All right, so I think the shack that you get, you have something to do with those as well. Later, I believe the place you get is over here. 
My my house. Okay. Wadsworth. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wadsworth, your personal robotic butler. I am here to look after your needs and to keep you happy and entertained. What can I do for you? Uh, I have to go now. You have yourself. Okay. I remember when I uh, when I played this game originally, uh, I just put a bunch of stuff in this locker and I never sold it. And so it was just full of crap. Also, I never pulled that. Uh, let's see. Never pulled the guide. Oops. Fallout 3, let's see, where is, Nuka Cola Challenge, Head of State, Oasis, Strictly Business, Let's see. Here's a list of bobbleheads that may become unattainable. How to avoid happening? All their bobbleheads can be attained at any point in the playthrough. Oh. So one of them, Lucas Sims' house, has a bobblehead in it. Raven's Rock? So Raven Rock Megaton. Oh, Evan King's house has a can be unobtainable if you try to force the lock to Evan King's house and fail. Breaking the lock. Note that the infiltrator per trader perk will give you a second and final chance. Interesting. So we actually have a couple that like in our that are in areas that we have been to. Um So I might have to I might have to... Hmm. That's fine. See if we can go... Also, do I... So do I ruin that, that guy's, like, church? In the past, and the resplendence of... It is so good to see you again, dear child. Remember, the Church of the Children of Atom is always here for you. Salvation is attainable. Um, oh, that's it. Okay. It's not I disarmed the bomb. It means nothing now. Clinic supply. It's open. Which is good news. How are those hot little potatoes? Because, you know, they're on the ground, like potatoes, and hot because they, um, explode. Anyway, what's up? Oh, you can just lie about it. It's not just because they say the place is haunted, is it? Because that's no reason to avoid the place. Ghosts don't exist. But landmines do. Oh boy, do they. And that's what we need to study. Yeah, but I also need... What do you have for sale? Absolutely. Do I have anything that needs a 5.56? I have five millimeter rounds I don't think I need. What the hell? A five millimeter round? She has 300 of. Weapons. Ten. 
10 millimeter. Damn it. Knife, switchblade. Ten damage, nine damage. Damage rear. Um, kind of just like have a bunch of like, just kind of shit. A lot of that doesn't really have a lot of weight to it. Aid miscellaneous. Sure. I would assume that most of this would be like, kind of just useless. Lead pipe, a missile launcher. Ooh. Grab that leather armor. Oh, she has a couple of missiles. Shotgun shell, energy cell. Good hunting. Okay, so items, apparel. Leather armor. Ooh, small guns plus five. Fuck, I probably wasted money on that leather armor. Small guns and energy weapons plus five on each. Eh, that's okay. Aid weapons. I have a little bit in there. I, just, I need 10 millimeter ammo. Can I do any sort of repairs? 62% repair skill needed. Damn it. Oh. Lucy's in the bar, right? The saloon? Nathan? Nova? Jericho? Ah, oh, look. Another one of you wasteland assholes. Look here, asshole. I don't like you. Stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble. You don't look like you belong here. What's your story? There ain't much to tell used to live out in the wastes. I was a real bastard back then, but I put all that behind me. Okay. What? Back out where? Out in the wastes, man. Must be bored to tears in this town. I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. I'm not that guy anymore. Sounds fun. You know... I do miss it sometimes. It's a life of freedom, you know? But come on, I'm a washed up old raider. What crew is gonna take me on? These kids don't know nothing about respect. No. No offense, kid, but you're not exactly the type I'm used to running with. I've heard about you. A little goody two shoes out of the vault. I don't think our styles would really mesh. Nah. It ain't so bad here. I got some good memories, but that's all I got. No sense in ruining the good ones, you know? Karma is too high. Interesting. Come back if you need something. Oh, damn it. Looking for a drink? You've come to the right place. Yes, that's locked. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. Good 
to see you. Listen, I'm working right now. It takes you renting a room. Sleep in it or don't. I don't care. I get paid either way. I have one mini nuke. Oh, it's like right there. Okay, I probably didn't really need this marker, but all right. <laughs> We're good. How do I? We're good. I found it. I found the cinema. Don't worry. Coming this way there, bud. All you had is a fucking nail board, and I burned all my flipping ammo on you. Well, Ugh, that was brutal. Okay. I need to go back up the hill for the hideaway? I don't know if I'm... Why the fuck is it? It's playing like... Oh god, that's a rock. We're okay. Oh, there's a boat fly over there. Come here, boat fly. Ow. Oh, that's a fucking mire lurk. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. Okay, where's this fucking hideout? Oh, 
almost dead. save um you know what no I'm good I'm good. I don't. I'm. I'm just gonna turn around. I don't like this. Oh God. Nope. 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 See you. Bye. That's fine. I'm okay. I don't. That's fine. Hold on. I just got ammo and then I burned all of it. Go to the grocery store. Restore peace, order, and prosperity to this great nation. And those who oppose us will be removed forever. So remember, mankind. Our claim is working around the clock to return this country to greatness. All you need is a little patience. A little faith. Till next time, this is John Henry. Whiskey. If there's anything like really worth oh it's a terminal for some reason so how do you even if you call a truck Shut up. A carton of cigarettes, that's pretty valuable. Those are valuable. 20 HP, 9 rads. Oh, first aid box. That'll work. No, oh, okay. Just kidding. Wanted to hack that, but no big deal. Northwest Seneca Station. Big trouble in Big Town. Rescue the Big Town captives. Blood ties locate the family. So how do I... Maybe if I make that the active quest. Wasteland Survival Guide. Oh god, we have to go real far out of the way. And we're gonna go right by the 
police station. I don't want to do that. Um, I just don't have like, I don't have the ammo for any of this. I keep getting some and then I'm like immediately losing it. What can I, okay, let's go back to, we're almost to level four. I at least got one quest done so far. And there's a bobblehead here, but I need his key. How's the search going? Any sign of Ian? Next time I see the fam. Okay, is that it? Oops. Hold on. You won't get away with that. What if I just kill him? Oops. <clears throat> All right. So you have to have a lock pick of 50. I am all the fucking, I am already out of ammo. Ugh. Average. What is my lock pick skill? Data stats. 32? I'd have to level up twice to get that. Hmm. I have good karma. So what do I need at level 8? That's... Oh. Okay, well I'm in good... Uh, Good position to at least try and get 10 gamer score in a couple of levels. I really don't want to go by the police station. God damn it. I don't think there's any way, any, any realistic way I make it all the way out there. Eh. Might as well give it a shot. Baseball bat has been pretty handy so far. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my fucking God. Oh my God. Can't get on the bus. Damn it. We at least found one though. I like heard noise and then I turned around and it was like there. Ugh. Fuck me. Oh my god. Ugh. Ugh. God, I'm gonna need like a cool down just to like not poop my pants. 
I do like kind of have to pee and I'm a little worried about getting startled again. Oh, good lord. Excuse you? Where the fuck did you come from? Maybe there's a... Oh, fuck. It's go time. Oh, still beat. Ah. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. This is... This is what we like to call bad news bears. Fuck me. Just keep an eye on your health, all right. Yep, yep, I see you and your big gun. I see you. Fuck off. Come here. Oh my fucking lord. Oh, my head is crippled. Fucking piece of shit. Oh my god. In order to heal a crippled limb, you have three choices. Sleep in a bed, find a doctor, or use a stim pack to heal yourself. Stim packs can be found. It uh, can be used for general health. Or they can be, uh, which will also slightly heal crippling damage, or they can be applied directly to a limb uh, to heal crippling damage. To heal a crippled limb directly using a stem pack, navigate to the stat screen in your pip then click X to switch to limb mode. Now you can use left stick and then A on the stem pack. There's that under stats. All right. There's a lot going on all at once. Let's go 40 and then we'll do All right, what do we have? What do we have? Scoundrel you can use your wily charms to influence people. Speech and barter. Increased iron fist. Five points unarmed damage. Educated. Three more skill points every time you advance in level. This perk is taken. If this best. This best. This, oh my god. This perk is best taken early on to maximize, maximize its effectiveness. I think we'll actually. We'll go with this. Alright. Now I'm kind of curious if there's like a good like fast travel location over here oh where i skipped that sniper do i got right here 32 caliber round a hunting rifle a knife and uh, one literal bottle cap fucking god Just a boat fly. Should be okay here. Oops, I hit the wrong button. How close are we getting here? Oh god, we still have a ways to go. Maybe I'll just venture over here for a quick second, find a location. Okay, that's fine. I'll, 
take it. I'll take it. I think we are. I think this is the minefield out here in the distance. I like this game makes me so tense. Ouch. I'm all out of stim packs. I'm all out of ammo. Okay. Discovered minefield. Fuck. Oh yeah. Oh good, I'm glad I'm doing this in the dark. Uh, can I just wait? We'll just wait, we'll wait for 12 hours. Huh. Just wait all the way through the night. Bright eyed and bushy tailed. I'm like panically mashing the A button. What the fuck? Can I fast travel? Can I fast travel? I have I have no fucking health. Can I fast travel? Can I fast travel? Can I fast travel? Can I get the fuck out of here, please? I have no health. I have one sliver of health. <laughs> oh my god. I have... Three. I have three health. Hey there. I'm like I'm gonna die if I fall down this hill. Oh my god! Uh, what the hell happened? I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one, don't bother me. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up, I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. I'm hurt. Good lord, this'll take some work. 100 caps worth of work. All right. All right, hold still. Here. Hold this end for me. Okay? Now give it back. All better now, you Holy big baby. Holy shit. Can I get back to work now? All right then. I, I can't believe I was still alive. Holy fuck. All right. Uh, let's see if uh, she has any more ammo. What do I, what did I need to do for her? Data, 
quests. Travel to the playground. Bring a landmine. Ugh. I can get there. I can bring the landmine. I just haven't gotten all the way to the fucking... I, I need... How are stuff. those hot little potatoes? Speech, 100%. I got through the minefield alive. Okay, that's fine. My very own I'll, I'll take it. I'm, I'm okay with that. Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I sent you out on this anyway. Now, tell me all about it. <laughs> what was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? The whole place is a death trap. Lots of places are nowadays. Good work staying alive in tough conditions. It'll be a great example for the book. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course. But it's easy to make your own, too. Does that finish out the first chapter? It most certainly does. And if I keep writing in the style of some of your reports, this is going to be one mighty slick book. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of oh, course, that's exactly you what I need. need them. We've still got two more chapters to go. All right, we'll get this at least the started. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Uh... What do you mean handling injury? Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying oh, to be God damn right it. away or trying to bleed out and all that. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? Ah. Uh. Wow, what a great Oh, I, I shouldn't have gotten healed. I didn't realize I that was the next healed. chapter. That's dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? Wow. When you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two. And I'll take notes and fix you up. I'll be waiting here with plenty of bandages for you. So don't worry. Just go get horribly injured. Oh, and be careful. Try not to die. So hold on. Do I have any? Oh, damn it. Damn it. That's okay. I'm I'm sure that one. Thankfully, the the wasteland survival guide works well, well in the background. How do you feel? Oh, don't think of it as crippling yourself for me. Think of it as getting free treatment when you eventually end up getting yourself hurt. What do you need? Okay, 32. Oh. have anything that needs a good hunting okay so now let's do
Oh, God. Right, well, at least I got some of the stem pack. I didn't even look for stem packs. I like grabbed some ammo and called it good. See if we can get a... I don't have that completed now? What the fuck? The cars, the cars just keep blowing up behind me. So we'll just run up here. We do have the, like this old man up here. Items, weapons, hunting rifle. Oh, it doesn't have a scope the way I thought it did. He's aggroed against me. What the fuck? I'm going, I'm going. Jesus. I don't know if I can even go back. Uh, data. World map. <laughs> well, that worked out well. I, that dude, that dude did not want me there. That's okay. That's okay. I don't want to be there. I did burn a hundred caps on that. That one dude, though. Which kind of sucks. Huh. Did you know the human body can survive without the stomach or spleen? <laughs> oh, what's up? Talk about this serious injury. Well, how do you feel? The fucking miserable. Oh, I know it does, dear. But it's for a good cause. Uh, try not to squirm so much while I take notes. Now, how would you describe the pain you're feeling? Any advice for how to keep it from being overwhelming? And remember, this is for posterity. Despite my glossary of expletives, nothing properly sums up this pain. You? At a loss for words? Oh, it's worse than I thought. Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now hold still and, and, and quit fidgeting. Ugh. How can you be walking around like this? Thank God there's fast travel. Okay. I even stitched a little smiley face in you to keep up your spirits. It's kind of hard to see from your side, though. Here, take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks, and it should help prevent the effects of exposure, too. I'm ready for more research. 
There's a sort of mole rat repellent I've developed. I need it to be tested on a few mole rats before I can say it's a success. There's a lot we don't know about Mirelurks and how intelligent and dangerous they are. That definitely deserves research. And that should be it for the second chapter. Which do you want to check out? Uh, what about, let's get rid of the mole rats. Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. Okay. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel bad sensation. Then they're gone before you know it. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties, but for real testing, try it on 10 or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. Okay. Good luck with that research. Okay. Well, that's, so that's where we'll pick it up next time. Working on that. Thought I heard a noise. Anyway, uh, we'll pick it up there next time on Fallout 3. We'll go uh, repel some mole rats. See if we can find another person that sells ammo. Uh, and then just avoid the minefield forever. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this part. This has uh, been part three every Friday, 6 a.m. Pacific time right here. YouTube.com slash Rex. You can catch another installment of Fallout 3 um, for the foreseeable future. I'm having a good time playing the game. Hopefully you're having a good time watching it. Um, yeah, this one's been the longest part so far. I think they've each gotten longer. All of them that I've posted. <laughs> Fallout... Yeah, the first one, 112. The second one, 122. This one, about an hour and a half. But that's uh, that's just how it goes. I'm sure there will be some shorter ones sprinkled in there. Somewhere. Oh, did I not ever upload that other... Weird. Um, yeah, there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. We'll see you next week. Actually, no. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, next week would be... God bless the USA! And nowhere else. Okay. Where the fuck are you hustling off to? I gotta go drink! Um, but there you go. We'll pick it up with uh, most likely the Meyer Lurks on uh, in the next installment. Or the, I'm sorry, not the Meyer Lurks. The, the other things. We'll try to find that family. Maybe we'll even progress the main quest line. Who knows? You'll just have to tune in to find out. Thank you again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. We'll see you next time on Fallout 3. And whatever that guy said. No, I'm just kidding. Don't, don't do that. <laughs>